What's up everyone, Jay and Derek here from Tap and Turn Gaming coming at you today with a video uh, of our project that we've been working on for quite some time. So as you can see here on the table in front of you, we have a, a shitload of cards <laughs> laid out. Um, <laughs> if you can uh, see them clearly enough, you'll see lots of Eldrazi's. You'll see uh, big fat stacks of Eldrazi Scions right here in the back. All kinds of Eldrazi's here. Uh, so this project that we've been working on for a little while now, um, if any of you have heard of the uh, game type Horde, uh, this is basically what that is, but we've kind of uh, twisted it to our own uh, liking or way, I guess you could say. And, you know, classic Horde was, you know, like zombies and stuff like that. Well, we've made an Eldrazi Horde deck. So, um... For any of you that know what Horde is, you'll kind of know the basics of how it plays out, but we have made a few alterations to it, um, you know, to make it more playable or to make it more enjoyable, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Derek in a minute because he's got all the rules and whatnot uh, that he's going <laughs> to touch base on, but before we get to that, um, in our... 1,000 subscriber giveaway video we asked if any of you guys would be willing to donate some of these lovely Scions to us. Uh, we did get a viewer that did donate some Scions to us so we want to give him a shout out and that person is Andrew Beernet from Minnesota I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah so uh, thank you Andrew for donating those Eldrazi Scions to us. We appreciate that and uh, there's your little uh, call out right there so thank you again. I'm going to turn it over to Derek, and he's going to talk about some uh, some bullet points about the rules and whatnot and how we've made little alterations to this. So what we what we did was, we, we did, a while ago we built a uh, just your traditional zombie horde deck, and we, we had some fun playing it. It was cool, it was fun for a while, and we, we played it quite a bit when we first built it. Uh, but we decided with Oath of the Gatewatch and Battle for Zendikar that we wanted to make a new one that was Eldrazi-based, but we wanted to twist the rules a little bit to make it make it a little more uh, difficult to win because the Eldrazi shouldn't be a pushover. They should be, they should be pretty difficult yeah, to yeah. go up against. So uh, one of the things that we did that's different <clears throat> is that traditional Horde is meant to be an automated deck that you just flip cards from the top. Uh, you generally flip cards until you hit a non-token creature. So, you know, Horde decks have a lot of tokens. Your token, token, token creature, you stop flipping. They all have haste, you attack. No decisions to be made. It's very just generic. Uh, automated so that you can have three people playing against it and one person's just flipping cards and you attack and you win and you lose whatever whatever <laughs> so we designed ours to be piloted by a player and gave it the option of a lot of removal a lot of choices um, just to make it seemingly even more difficult uh, so what we did we started off with a 200 card deck there's uh, I believe 110 scions and Something then like that, yeah. and then 90 other regular cards um, so this is the lifeblood of the deck, and the way it works is there's 200 cards. They're going to flip cards equal to the turn number plus one. So turn zero, they flip one. Turn one, they flip two. Turn two, they flip three. It just gets progressively more difficult as the game goes on, and that eliminates the Eldrazi deck from whiffing, because what would happen with a Horde deck, traditionally, is you'd flip a card if it's a non-token. Even if it's turn 15, they could flip one card. Our deck eliminates that, by if it's turn 15, they're going to flip 16 cards. So every turn it gets more pressure applied, and we thought that was pretty cool. Um, also, we gave them the ability to have removal. So over here we have a lot of sorcerers and instants, besides our two enchantments. But all over here is all sorcerers and instants that we're also letting the player cast everything at instant speed to just give them more pressure to apply. And because a lot of the good removal spell that were Eldrazi spells are, are sorcery, um, so this lets them just really apply that pressure really hard. Um, as well as being able to have Sorcerer's Instance, we also gave them the rule that they can hold cards. Traditionally with, traditionally with Horde, you would just flip cards to the table, flip them to the table, flip them to the table. This lets the player hold the card, but they have unlimited <coughs> mana, so they can still cast them for free. Uh, creatures are still cast as creature spells, uh, but Sorcerer's Instance can all be cast as instants to just, like I said, let them apply that that pressure real, real hard. Uh, another cool feature that we added in is that the Eldrazi deck can sacrifice any number of Scions 
to destroy a permanent with equal mana cost. So if they sacrifice five Scions, then they can destroy a five cost permanent, and they can do that at split second speed. And that was to avoid blowouts because something like uh, an Alesh Norn hits the board and all these creatures get minus two, minus two, you're gonna kill almost every single creature in the deck and just, it's gonna, you're gonna lose. So this gives the Eldrazi Horde the ability to, they see that card that they know has blowout potential, they can sacrifice Eldrazi Scions to remove it at split second speed before <coughs> it can actually do anything and affect them. And uh, that's, that's real good, it's a real strategy because by sacking Eldrazi Scions, they're also sacrificing part of their win condition, but they have to sacrifice part of their win condition to save themselves. Because once the deck is gone, then the <laughs> then the, the Eldrazi player loses. Um, so the survivors have either the option to defend themselves and survive, or to go on the offensive and attack for the win, because every point of damage they deal mills away cards from the Eldrazi deck, as with a regular Horde deck. And as far as life totals, what we did traditionally with Horde, the it would be 40, pl 40 points of life for the starting player and 20 points of health for each additional player. And what we did instead was just go 40 points of health per player because we feel like our deck is going to be pretty aggressive and pretty hard to win. Yeah, for sure. Um, just with the because it actually has removal and <clears> some <throat> big nasty creatures and a, a ton of Scions and the fact that every turn it gets progressively more difficult. Um... But I, I think that really covers all the rules changes that we went through. Uh, the only other real thing of note, I guess, is that we have Awakening Zone, which was from the original Eldrazi set. So that was before there were Eldrazi Scions. This one makes Eldrazi Spawns. But uh, for the sake of the game, it, for us, it just produces more Scions. Just so it's it's easier. Then we have our 10-10 token and our 1-1 Scion token that are in different colored sleeves. And that's because these are not produced by the deck, but they're produced by things in the deck. So we need a different color sleeve for when those get produced. But I think that more or less covers all the, the rule little whims that we have that are a little different from a, a normal horde deck. But I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean it's definitely uh it's definitely exciting for us to uh you know take a look at this and you know see how it's come together and actually uh get a chance to try to play it. Um and just to try to <coughs> excuse me, to uh give you like the scope of uh how <laughs> much difficulty and pressure we think that this deck can apply. You know, we've got things like uh, Bane of Balaged, which basically has Annihilator, and we got Sire of Stagnation and Desolation Twin. That's why we got the 1010 token over here. You know, Breaker of Armies. We've got some, you know, Big Daddy Eldrazi's in the deck. Uh, we do have a lot of, you know, smaller, like, little utility Eldrazi's that, you know, happen to bring more Eldrazi's, you know, with them when they come in. So, you know, that was a big thing why we needed this Eldrazi Scion token. Yeah, like the, the Brood Monitor and the From Beyonds. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, when we flip cards or the Horde player flips cards and they flip, you know, the Scions, you know, those will obviously stay on the board but we need a way to discern the ones that came from the deck and the ones that came from the spells that were put onto the board so uh yeah i mean the the eldrazi decks get some pretty menacing stuff and you know like derek said with all the removal that it's got you know we've got scour from existence and grip of desolation and all this other garbage <laughs> that'll uh you know, definitely give the Eldrazi deck, you know, like you said, the ability to apply that pressure and not just make it so that, uh, you know, someone's finely tuned commander deck can just blow out the deck. You know, it's got ways to deal with things, and I think the most um, versatile one is the uh, the ability where it can sacrifice its own lifeblood to destroy permanents that would otherwise blow out the deck, you know, like you said, a Lesh Norn and things like that, so... Yeah, and it's, I think it's cool because it, it's self-sacrificing to make that gain. Like, they only have so many cards to work with, and if something comes down that costs five and they have to sacrifice five Scions to get rid of it, and something else comes down that costs six, and they don't have six because they use the five, then they can't deal with it at that moment. They have to wait till they build up some more Scions because only Scions can be, can be sacrificed for that. But they do have ways to generate some extra, so, you know, they... They have ways to build up some resources, so it's it's like a give and take, you know. It's that double-edged sword. Yeah, and uh, you know this is still kind of uh, you know we haven't actually play tested it yet, so I guess you can kind of say this is still in like a little beta phase. You know, I'm sure we'll find you know some kooky little interactions that might break the game <laughs> that we might have to work around that maybe we didn't think of, but and it might you know, just be 
too powerful. You know? Yeah, I mean, it, it might you know come to the point where we play test it, and the Eldrazi deck just blows out everybody every time. So you know. But that was the thought behind it, you know, if we need to make alterations to it once we do play test it, and hopefully uh, we will try to film some gameplays of us playing it, um, you know, we'll see how it works out, and, uh, you know, we hope you guys enjoy it um, when, you know, if and when we do film those gameplays of it. Uh, we hope everything works out, and, you know, all the alterations that we made to it, we hope everything works out smoothly, but, you know, if it doesn't, you know, that's just something we'll have to work through. Uh, you know, so leave us some comments in the comment section below the video what you think of uh, our Eldrazi Horde deck. You know, if there are, um, you know, any alterations that you would make to it as far as, like, the rules go, you know, let us know and we, you know, we could definitely take them into consideration. But, yeah, I mean, that about wraps up everything about this. So, uh, you know, we've been working on this for quite some time, you know, getting all the cards together, mostly the Scion tokens. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, that uh, took a little bit. Yeah. And, again, thank you, uh, Andrew, for donating uh, the tokens that you did donate. We do appreciate that. So, uh, but, yeah, that, that's about everything. So um, you got anything else, Derek, before we sign off? No, that's, that pretty much wraps it up. All right, cool. So uh, hopefully we'll get some gameplays up of this uh, pretty soon on the channel and uh, see how you guys like it. So uh, this has been Jay and Derek with Tap and Turn Gaming. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you later. Thanks a lot.